yo, 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 what up, YouTube? Yeah, this is your boy Daddy Easy here, otherwise known as iPod Jumper Cat, because some of y'all know me as only use me Tomahawk. And today I'm going to show you how to get voice control on your iPad 2. That's right, I said iPad 2. Now, before we get started on this, there's two ways to do this. And before I even get started on that part, let me just tell you this if those who have multi touch gestures enabled on your iPad and you downloaded it from Cydia, Cydia you're going to have to disable it so voice control works. It will not work with it on it. Basically, you added a file into your um, system course so this can work. Second off, I'm going to show you how to do this on iFile real quick. Then I'm going to switch over to the computer and show you how to do it on the computer. So, if y'all want to know how to do this fast, you can just go into iFile, which is this right, right here. I'm just going to scroll all the way back. And the first thing you want to do is go to Systems. Let's zoom that in for you real quick. Systems, Library, Core Services, Springboard Apps. Then you're going to scroll down so you get to the case. And you should see this file right here, which is K9, K93AP. You want to click on that. I'm going to go to Text. Now, you can actually type in the keys on by going to Ty's iPhone help and getting the code from on basically show you how to ha um, put voice control on the very first iPad, but this is showing you how to do it on the um, iPad too. Now, the only thing you have to do is type in the keys, which I will put the link in the description, what to put in in this link. Only thing you have to do is just hit add, click after true, hit return, and put paste in what is on it. I'm going to put that in the link. So I'm going to just cancel that out. So what we're going to do is we're going to switch over to the Mac, and I'm going to show you exactly what to type in through, your, through the Mac to actually get an enable on here. So let's switch over to the Mac right now. BX, I'm back. Now I'm going to show you how to put these files onto your iPad too. Now basically you see this file right here. Um, I took this file off of my iPhone 4, and it does work on the iPad too. Believe me, it does work. I already tried it. Um, I already did all this before I actually did anything. So let's show you how to get this to work on your iPad too. Now, if you're using a Mac, you're gonna need a file called PList Editor Pro, which is that right there. Um, I will have a link in the description for a trial version. Um, there's other places how to get the full version. Um, there's sites called like Pirate Wink Wink Wink. I'm not gonna say the full thing, but y'all know how to get it. Wink Wink. So let's begin. Let's open up Cyberduck. Okay, the first thing you want to do, <clears throat> you want to go to Systems, Library, you want to go down to Core Services, Springboard Apps, then you want to scroll down to you see that there's only one K in the file, so let's look for that K. Okay, it's right here, it's called K93AP PLIST, that's what you want right there. Just copy it to your desktop as so. Now with that PList Editor Pro that I told you to download before, y'all gonna need this to make a setting into your into your iPad. So basically, you're gonna do is open it up. <coughs> Excuse me. So we're gonna go to Capabilities. Now this part is very important, y'all. Y'all must pay attention to this part. Where it says New Child, click New. Right. Now you're gonna create where it says Voice. Dash Control. Then we're going to go to class. We're going to put it to boot lane. Then we're going to put the value to yes. Now we're going to go scroll it down. This is, this is what I must pay attention to. Scroll it down. Where you see where it says video camera and Wi-Fi. Put it in between video camera and Wi-Fi. Keep it right there. Make sure everything's set up. Make sure you spell it the right voice control. Got that dash in the middle. Boot lane. Then make sure it's on yes. Once everything's contract oh uh, correct, just hit the red button, hit save. Once you hit save, just drag it right back into the file that you um just took it out. Make sure you leave Cyberduck open and just drop it into it as so. Click allow. Click continue. And you're done. Next, we got to drop a file into the folder. So we're going to back all the way back up. We're going to go to Systems, Library. We're going to go to Private Firmware. Um, 
private firm work on um, private firm works then we're going to scroll all the way down to where you see voice services firm works now this file right here just gonna take it and drop it into the folder into the file click allow now the file is um 20.4 megabytes but when you actually download it to your computer it's gonna be about four point fourteen point nine megabytes but when you actually upload it into the file it's gonna be twenty point four megabytes so if you see any differences don't get scared nothing you're not worrying about but what I always tell people the file that you see right here that says K938P before you do any editing to it always make a backup that's what I always tell people when you're doing hacks on your iPad so if you mess up you can always put the original file that's back in it so you don't mess up your iPad or have to do a restore okay once this is done that's it you can exit out of CyberDuck now now we're going to go back to the phone and I'm going to show you basically everything what to do so let's switch over back to the cam um, camera right now and I'll show you what y'all been waiting for okay guys we're back at the camera now now we're just going to do this we're going to go to SP settings real quick we're just going to do a respring real quick as you can see it's respringing like I said before this is not going to work if you have multi gestures enabled on your iPad so we're going to just slide this to unlock now here's everything right here hold the home button there we go play Acon sorry I just have um, a quick message that came in okay let's do that again play music by Acon There you go. And just to let you know that it works, let's do this one more time. Play music by Akon. Playing songs by Akon. As you can hear the voice just is talking. Now, just to let y'all see that it does not work with multi on um, justice enabled, let's go to winter board. And we're going to go to uh, da, 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 iPad 2 gestures. Back it up and respring. Okay. Now we're just going to hold the home button. As you can see, it is not going to work as long as multi gestures is an enable. So if I go back to Winterboard, turn off multi gestures. Now it will work. There we go. Hit the home button. There you go. So that's how to get multi um that's how to get voice control on your iPad too. This is working on the um the white version and the black version. And make sure y'all hit the like button, subscribe up here, hit the like button down here, leave your comments down there, and I'll catch you guys later on my next video. It's your boy Daddy Easy, iPod Jailbreak Hacker, otherwise known as only use me Tom Hawks, and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Peace!